All right, so here we go. What a great sounding mic, don't you think? There's no EQ on this. Boys and girls, today we're gonna do something special. I wanna do a guitar recording, guitar miking experiment, and you can be my guest. I wanna show you the maybe most natural way of adjusting the low end of your guitar tone without using an equalizer, without even touching the microphone. Sounds magical, I know. Let's get started. <laughs> And the cool thing about this little trick is that you can decide how thick your low end's gonna be after the recording. You can go from this to this. And again, this is without using an equalizer. Let me show you how this works. But first, let me show you today's signal path. As usual, I'm playing my beloved Fernandez Ravel baritone guitar with EMG pickups. It's over there. I'm just too lazy to pick it up. You'll see it in a minute. And we're going into an amp I haven't used before. Can you see it? That little thing over there? It's that tiny little amp over there. It's the Blackstar St. James amp that they have just released. So I'm 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 trying that amp at the moment. It is, I think, the, the, the lightest 50 watt amp ever. It's super light, but it's a full tube amp um, with a lot of bells and whistles, a high gain amp. And I can already tell you, it has a very interesting, very clean and interesting sounding distortion that is quite different from your typical high gain tube amp. Uh, if you wanna see a video about the Blackstar St. James, you let me know in the comments. We're playing that amp today, but that's not our main story. From there, we're going into a Coffee Audio Lungo oversized cap with front loaded speakers, and we are miking a Celestian Vintage 30. We gotta be a little more traditional today, right? A great sounding eight ohm vintage 30 taken from a vintage Mesa Boogie cab from 2003, which is a great year. So that's a great sounding speaker inside the Coffee Audio cab. But we're not using an SM57 today. We're using only one mic. And I think that microphone is like the hippest guitar recording microphone for heavy music at the moment. I have been using it for a while. I've just seen an, an interview with Andy Sneap, the legendary Andy Sneap, where he says it's his go-to microphone, especially for blending with 57s. I remember talking to my buddy Lasse Lamad at a Guitar Summit a few months ago. He told me he's using the mic. I know that Warren Ewart, not a metal guy, but Warren Ewart is using this mic for guitar uh, recording. I'm using it and here it is. I'm talking about the Austrian Audio OC818 multi-pattern condenser microphone. And I have two of those. One is here and one is down there in my live room. And you might know, I've already done a video about this one because it is also my main vocal mic for pretty much all kinds of vocals. I'm using it as an overhead mic. So if you are looking for a great sounding, very versatile condenser microphone, large diaphragm condenser microphone, uh, consider this. But today I wanna talk about one very special feature that this microphone has. So you might know this is a dual diaphragm microphone. So it will pick up the sound from both directions and then you have your typical switches here where you can switch between different polar patterns. A lot of microphones have that. So you can go from Omni where it picks up sound from all sides. I know it's not perfect Omni if it's too, two diaphragms com uh, combined, I know. Uh, but you can basically go from Omni all the way to figure of eight where it only picks up the sound from the front and from the back and not from the, or less from the sides and anything in between, like the cardioid pattern that we mostly use or super cardioid or hyper cardioid or wide cardioid, anything in between here. But you know what? Most of the time we're not actually using this which is stupid because changing the polar pattern will not only change the direction from where the microphone picks up the sound, it will also change the overall tone. And why is that? Well, that, there are two reasons. First one is pretty simple. So if you just pick up 
the, the sound from one side, cardioid pattern, it's gonna sound different than also picking up the reflections coming from the room, right? So the mids and the highs are, are gonna sound different coming back from the room, bouncing back into the microphone compared to just coming from the cab directly. That makes sense, right? And the other thing that we all hopefully know is that the closer you get to a microphone, again, depending on the polar pattern, the more low end you get. This is what we call proximity effect. You don't have a pro proximity effect in an omni setting. You have the biggest and most prominent proximity effect in a figure of eight pattern. But we all know this from recording vocals. If we use a cardioid pattern, the closer the singer gets to the microphone, the more boomy, the fatter it will sound. And you can use that to, yeah, to adjust the low end, to make the voice sound bigger or sound tighter. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna use different polar patterns to adjust our guitar tone. And the cool thing is we can do this while recording or we can do this while mixing. But the very special feature that this microphone has is that it has two outputs, one for the front and one for the back. So you got your normal XLR output here and then you got another one, I hope you can see it. What is it, like a mini XLR or something, whatever, like a smaller output here. And um, it comes with a an additional cable. Um, adapter to XLR. So you end up with two channels, which means you need two mic pre's and you record two channels, a dual mono signal. One carries only the front and the other one carries only the back signal. Now, depending on how you combine those two signals together, how you blend them, you can create different polar pattern. This is what all those microphones actually do inside. You could do that yourself in your DAW, but Austrian Audio wanted to make our lives a little more easy. And they have a free plugin that you can download now. Later in this video, I will give you an audio file of this microphone, both signals, so you can do exactly the same thing that I'm about to do. So you can play around with the polar patterns and can understand how powerful this is. And this plugin doesn't only let you switch between different polar patterns, it can also split the frequency spectrum into different bands. So your low end can be om omni and your high end can be whatever, hypercardioid and anything in between. It is extremely powerful. And if you think this is only like a nerd feature that nobody needs, wait a minute, I'm gonna show you what you can do with this. All right, so here we go. What a great sounding mic, don't you think? There's no EQ on this. And it's almost pointing right at the middle of the speaker. It doesn't have that, that mid-forward peaky whatever of that the 57 has, but it sounds a lot thicker. But none of that typical condenser harshness in the upper mids. Love it. Anyway, we're listening to the front of the microphone now. So basically our typical cardioid setting. And this is the backside. All right, and now I wanna switch into Cubase. Here we are. And you can see I have a stereo track here. I've already recorded a little riff for you. A stereo track, and on that track, we have the Austrian Audio Polar Designer. So let me just arm that track. So we're recording the front to the left and the back to the right. And what the plugin is doing is it will sum everything to mono. And now we can switch between the different polar patterns. And just so you see how different this can sound, let me just quickly switch. Wow. This is the Omni setting. Let's just go from Omni to figure of eight so you can hear the massive difference this makes in the low end.
but it also shifts from a rather mid-forward sounding tone to a more scoop tone with a lot more low end. Those are two very extreme settings that I typically wouldn't use, but of course it depends. Typically you would use something in between. The wide cardioid, normal cardioid, and the more you go into the direction of figure of eight with super and hyper cardioid, you will get more low end and the upper mids will get more and more scooped. So let's just check out the low end. If you want a little more, go here. If you want a lot more, you go here. But now you will tell me, yeah, but we're changing the entire guitar tone, which is really cool, but maybe I love the guitar tone, let's say in the wide cardioid mode. I love how the, the, the mid sound and the, the high end sounds. I just want to have more low end. And this is when you can use the different bands. I've already set this one to 200 Hertz, which is a good setting. And you can see we have different bands here. It kind of looks like a multi-band compressor. You can even solo them and mute them. And you see here, you can switch the polar pattern of each individual band, which is so powerful, but you can also just move it here. So let's just add a little more low end to our guitar tone by moving this up. How cool is that? And this sounds so natural. I assume they are using linear phase uh, crossovers here because it really sounds totally natural to my ears. I just have more low end. Let's go more extreme. And back. And if your guitar tone is too boomy, you just go into the other direction. Make the low end omni. Which means you have no more proximity effect. This is so cool. But you can do a lot more. Um, this is like the, the cola preset, the one that I use. So I have like the low end split here uh, around 200. And then I have this upper mid region because one thing you, you need to understand, you can also listen to just the back of the microphone. So just the backside like this. And if you do this to just one of the bands, you can almost entirely remove certain frequency areas. For example, here, this is like 2K to 4 or 5K. So like the, the harsh upper mids of a guitar tone. Let's have a listen. If I move this band, I can boost them or almost even get rid of them. Which means you cannot only adjust the low end, if you have harsh or annoying frequency regions, you just find them with the crossovers and you can almost entirely remove them. Or boost it. But how cool is that? Like cardioid sounds nice, maybe a little more low end, but a little softer up here. This basically turns your microphone into an equalizer. It still blows my mind how simple this is. And you can also automate this. So that means in a part where the guitar plays alone, you could go here, make it super fat. And when the band starts playing along, you just go back here. Or if it's, if it's too thick in the mix. And I forgot to say, you can have anything in between those polar patterns. It's totally seamless. 
and especially for adjusting the low end and the upper mids. I think it's very powerful. <laughs> But you could also, I'm pretty sure you could find like a, a honky range around 500 where you want to get rid of something. <laughs> to my ears, it sounds more natural than an equalizer because all you do is you blend those two different diaphragms like differently. And that is so powerful. By the way, here you can also like switch between one band, two band, three band, five band. So if you don't need, like I have it right now, four bands, you can just switch to something else. So, you know, it gets a little more simple. They also have a proximity control slider here that basically does the same thing like I've, that I've been doing here, I think. It just goes a lot higher. <laughs> I mean, it works, and I'm pretty sure it sounds good on vocals, but on guitars, I just prefer to have the uh, the crossover here a little lower, around 200. And this is next level shit for me. It's so basic, you know, it's basic, because it's just switching between polar patterns, which, you know, it's nothing new, but the way they implement it into your DAW as a plugin makes it so powerful. So Austrian Audio, this is very smart. I have recorded a little riff here. It's just one take. Hope there aren't any mistakes in there. And I'm gonna export that now. You know, without the plugin, it sounds like this. So that means if you download the plugin and download that WAV file, I'll tell you how to do that in a minute, load it onto a stereo track and open the plugin, you can play around with it like I'm doing it now. What a brilliant idea. There's a link below to my email list. So you can subscribe to my email list. And if you do that, uh, you will get a link to my Discord server where I have all my free stuff. IRs, drum samples, multitracks, a lot of cool stuff. On my Discord server, there's a lot of free stuff. And today I will add this audio file, like one riff, one Chuga Chuga riff in stereo that you can download, record it with a setup, of this video and then you download the plugin from Austrian Audio and you can do exactly the same thing, exactly what I have been doing in this video. Link below to my email list, subscribe there, you will get a Discord link in the final confirmation mail, okay? Wait for that. Don't write me any stupid emails. <laughs> Wait for that. It's not difficult. And on the Discord server, you'll find the section with the free stuff. The Discord server is cool, by the way. A lot of lots of people there. I think we have five thousand people there or something. Uh, so if you want to talk about something, if you want to talk, you know, about nerdy shit, it's the right place to talk about guitar tones and recording music and all that, all that, you know, the stuff that I do. Um, yeah, do it now. Link below. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, if you think about getting a great sounding um, uh, condenser microphone, uh, you can get this. If you don't need the extra features, they also have a more affordable version that I'm actually using right now, which is called, oh my God, OC, ah, OC16. This is a like cardioid only version with a slightly like a plastic housing or something, but it, like on the inside, it's, it's the same. And I think they also have a version in between, which looks like this but it's cardioid only, uh, you figured it out. I'll put a few links below to all those microphones. I'll put a few more links below to all the gear that we have been using in this video. And um, uh, what else? Download the plugin and download uh, the audio files and play around with it and have fun. And maybe that's how you will record guitars in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Uh, have a look in the, to the description. There's some other cool stuff like my academy, Cola Audio Cult, and uh, some other cool shit. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to ring the ding dong bell. Thanks for watching. I see you in hell, motherfuckers. Bye bye. <laughs>